Do you ever personify objects and feel bad for them? I've seen people report switching plates around in their cupboard so that the ones at the bottom of the pile don't feel unwanted. Honestly, you're doing just fine considering the opposite end of the spectrum is people who can't even see others as humans having equally vivid lives. My husband does this a lot. It tends to make hoarding an issue. But there was a super funny incident that happened with my niece years ago when she was little. She was sitting at the table with her doll and the doll didn't have any clothes on for some reason. I'm sure she was just taking her time changing the doll's clothes or something. My husband came in and saw this scene and thought he would really bond with her. He commented about how cold the doll must feel without her clothes. She then looked up at him and rolled her eyes and said, Well it's just a doll. My whole family, who love him and also know his tendency to anthropomorphize things, absolutely died laughing. We still quote my niece often and lovingly when it's applicable. He shakes his head and says, I thought I was bonding with her and telling her that I get it when all the other adults don't. Instead I was told off by a four years old. I've read that people prefer to have their broken Roombas repaired rather than replaced. Because they feel like part of the family. Humans will pack bond with anything. That's just part of how we love the things around us. Sometimes I feel like my left hand is sad because right hand gets all the action. Not in the same way. But I noticed when I was younger that if a kid accidentally dropped their candy they would cry. But if their parents said, it's okay I'll buy you a new one, then the kid would cheer up. But I wouldn't. Even if I were offered a new candy I'd still be sad because it wouldn't feel the same lol. It's a Kabbalist practice to treat everything, even inanimate objects, as though it has consciousness. My mentor teaches to appreciate everything and everyone. He thanks his toothbrush for keeping teeth clean, chair for giving him a place to sit, bed for a place to lie and so on. He's a master of psychology and says it greatly improves the mind in ways that are profound by developing a love for everything. I love just seeing him talk to some random object. To me. But for him it's one of many sources of his happiness. The plushies and pillows on my bed. I feel so bad when they end up on the floor the next morning. Google, animism. I've seen this type of post a few times and it always sounds to me like being on the spectrum. I googled, sympathy towards objects, and a few links do mention autism. I think we're all a bit on the spectrum though and only you'll know if this is an isolated thing or if you have other signs. I have been alive for 17 years and have never not personified an object. I regularly lose lighters but I got a Zippo last October and haven't lost it. I maintain it very WEL and will not smoke with any other lighter without getting sad. I lost it for about a week and it was weirdly sad and made me low-key depressed but I found it. Thank God. Th yeah, I feel bad for favoring one of my plushies over the others, so I try and rotate them. I'm that way with my mounts and pets in World of Warcraft. I tend to view it as a good thing. Since you then will use and appreciate them, it to the fullest. If it's weird, I don't want to be normal. I still thank the microwave out loud when I read, done, on the screen. A little creepier. My work has a set of elevators that need an ID badge to call them when they open on their own and there's nobody inside. I'll thank the possible ghosts that opened them for me. Sure it's possible that someone pushed extra buttons and got off on the wrong floor. But it happens way too often for it to be a coincidence. I do this too. 
exclamation mark, exclamation mark, you're not alone. Toy Story ruined me. I always felt bad when I played with some toys more than other toys after that movie so now if I have more than one of something or a few things that do the same or very nearly the same. I feel bad for choosing one over the other. Hadn't thought about that for a long time until this post. So thanks op. I was looking for more anxiety. P. It's not for all the objects but definitely happens with some. Yay my brave little toaster. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.